Hi guys, my name is Alexander Guerrero, and today I'll be giving a book talk on The Promised Neverland. It was written by Kaiu Shirai, and it was illustrated by Kosuka Demizu. The Promised Neverland is a book about a group of kids that lives at a seemingly normal orphanage, which in reality is a dark and sinister place. So, in The Promised Neverland, I'm not gonna like spoil it for you. I'm just gonna say one well, part of the, one part of the um the the manga, which is like the part where everybody knows it because it's such a <laughs> iconic part see, really of the like, manga. Such an manga so in this part of the story, yeah. there's three main characters. There's Emma, Ray, and Norman. Ray is a boy, so is Norman, and Emma is pr probably the no protagonist. Gender. It's a she. So, Emma, she's 11 years old, and Norman and Ray are also 11 years old. They're the oldest kids in the orphanage, and the way this orphanage works is that once you're six, year, six years old or 12, you, you, will, you will be um, sent to your new family. That's usually how it works in this orphanage. So, there's this little girl named Connie, and she's six years old, and she's found a new family. The mom of the house, the mother who takes care of the orphan, uh, the kids at the orphanage, has to take her to the gate to take her to a new home. And all the kids at the orphanage are all crying and they're saying goodbye to Connie because it's her last day there, or her last night, uh, last night. Connie has this teddy bear, which she always has with her. When oh Connie God, leaves the orphanage, not when, when Connie leaves the orphanage, Emma saw sees um. Connie um sees Connie bunny she's like oh no Connie left her bunny she she's gonna miss it so Connie was like what do I do then Ray was like you still have time and then Norman and Emma they're both 11 years old they're like yeah let's get to the gate before Connie leaves so they run to the gate which is like a good mile away from the orphanage house they're running to the gate and they're like <laughs> they're hustling to the gate and when they oh get God, there uh... they didn't saw mom but the lights were still on. There's a demon, don't know. And then, and, and then when they um Connie get there, dead. they're wondering where is mom and Connie. She died. And they see this vehicle, which they think where Connie is gonna go in to She's leave dead. the orphanage. So they look inside the car, and okay. Norman looks in the front of the seat and sees nobody there. Um, Emma, she goes. To, it's a truck, so it's like there's like a lot of seats. Connie goes to the back and she opens the curtain, which is like that thing that opens up, and she gasps. <gasps> Norman's like, what is it, Emma? Emma steps back. Her eyes widen. She's scared. Norman creeps behind Emma and is like, what is it? And he looks inside the back of the truck and he gasps too. He's like, <gasps> and that's the cliffhanger. I'm not going to tell you the rest, but it's quite shocking. I think people will like this story is that it's about survival and it's a thriller slash horror and psychological and it's it turns at one point you think this is just a normal ordinary story where it's just all happiness but the next thing you know it's this totally dark sinister totally different thing of what you or originally thought and I think that's the point where it really intrigues the audience to want to watch and read more of this manga or anime and for me when i watched it i remember watching episode one i was like oh my god i want to read this and i just binge watch the entire thing for the next 12 hours so that's how good it is in the story isabella the mom of the orphanage says and i quote it looks like i lost run children and be careful i pray that you can one day find true happiness and light. And that's the end. So that quote, you're only gonna know what it truly means once you have read or watched the manga. And it's super beautiful, the meaning about this quote, because in this world, they live in a world where it's, there is cruel, where it's so cruel, and there's almost no hope at true happiness. And the children's finally found or they escaped and they, they have a chance, an opportunity at life. And I think that's what makes this story so beautiful. So you should watch it.